Still no arrest for Damaris Johnson, the TU All-American football player that has been suspended for his alleged involvement in an embezzlement scheme at Macy's department store at the Promenade Mall. Now, if Johnson remains suspended, that is obviously a huge loss for this Golden Hurricane team. Last week, before the suspension, Bill Blankenship talked about his receiving court. Really like where Jordan James and Thomas Roberson are. I think those two guys are, are certainly leading the pack. Outside of Demaris, I believe the, the receiving quarter, there's going to be a lot of guys playing. So we haven't really put somebody in there that's not going to give up any, any time. Uh, now. Those contributions become even greater now. Caden takes a look at the receivers that will be seeing an increased role. For as long as Damaris Johnson remains suspended, these five receivers will need to step up in a big way. We start with Johnson's backup, Freeman Kelly, a speedster from Texas, redshirted last season, but showed flashes of brilliance in the spring and during preseason camp. Jordan James was going to be counted on in a big way anyway. Now the Louisiana native with just one career catch but tons of upside becomes perhaps this team's number one target. <laughs> Thomas Roberson, the union grad who caught 30 passes last season as a freshman, needs to be healthy and productive for this offense to flourish. Hot for the touchdown, Roberson. Ricky Johnson, 30 career receptions in 22 games. He has good size and ability but needs to step up his consistency. And senior Genesis Cole, the converted defensive back who made a huge catch on the game-winning drive last year against Notre Dame. For Cole and the rest of this quintet, the time is now. Caden McCormick, 2 News works for you.